In a week in which uh, the nation's attention is fixated on, uh, on, on a whistleblower from the intelligence community, another whistleblower has emerged. This one uh, employee of the IRS who has um, filed a formal whistleblower complaint suggesting that there may have been improper political pressure on a sacrosanct activity of the IRS. And that activity is reviewing the tax returns of the president and the vice president. It fits into a long-running drama of uh, efforts to seek President Trump's tax returns. You haven't answered my question as to whether or not Congress has a legitimate interest in verifying whether the IRS is properly enforcing the tax law with respect to the president. He said that he, that he wouldn't release them. He's been pressed because of this tradition. Why won't you release them? What have you got to hide? He says he's under audit. Under audit. audit. I'm under audit. Depends on the audit. I'm always under audit, it seems. There is a lot of attention on the tax returns for two reasons. One is there are long-running suggestions that Trump has exaggerated his wealth. My company is much bigger, much more powerful than they ever thought. And understated his debts. One of the best companies. I have some of the greatest assets in the world. Second, there's interest among investigators and journalists and the public in seeing the tax returns. You know, the only one that cares about my tax returns is the reporters. Because it could give us an idea of who the president might be financially beholden to. The rules specifically require that these tax returns be held in a very um, a discreet uh, fashion. Again, it's to be immune from, to keep it apart from political pressure. This administration has no intention to weaponize the IRS the way the Nixon administration did. I was able to meet with the whistleblower. He was very careful not to discuss with us any aspect of the complaint itself. The one thing that he did say, he said in his agency right now there's a great deal of fear and pressure and that statements that had been made publicly, he didn't say by whom, but it was just after the President of the United States had called for punishment or wanted, wanted the whistleblower to be revealed. The whistleblower was so dishonest. The whistleblower said terrible things about the call. He talked about how um, frightening that was and how inhibiting it was. I'm trying to find out about a whistleblower when you have a whistleblower that reports things that were incorrect. Once again, in a process in which even more so than most is meant to be safe and protected from political intrusion, there has been an effort to do so. And it resonates because it underlines the claims that have been made previously that this president and his secretary of the treasury have not followed the rules or even the law according to the lawsuit filed by Chairman Neal that requires some transparency and disclosure of documents, um, uh, including those involving the president's tax returns.